Hey, what's up guys? As you guys can tell, I am soaking wet right now. You guys are gonna find out if you stay at the end of the video, but as you guys can tell, I'm wearing this Gymshark bathing suit and there's a massive summer sale happening up to 70% off everything storewide. I think it's 20%, 30%, 40%, 50%, and 70% off. So every single thing is gonna be discounted. They only do this like once a year on Black Friday, so they're doing their first summer sale. If you guys wanna check it out, link in the description below. Uh, with all that being said, let's get into this house tour. Yo, what's going on guys? Doug Sensor Martin here. Hope you guys are having a great day. And today, I'm celebrating my boy Skyler's birthday. He's actually holding the camera right now. Say happy birthday in the comments to Skyler. Wave your hands. <laughs> so Skyler wanted to go to a lake house for his birthday. So we ended up going to a lake house. We've been hanging out here for the past three days or so, I'd say, right? Three days. So it's been three days. We're at the head home today. But I want to give you guys a little house tour of the place that we've been staying at. This place is absolutely gorgeous. It is beautiful. We had an awesome time here. I want to show you guys around some of the cool main spots of the house and explain a little bit about how much fun we've had while we're here and just what we're doing and hanging out. So with all that being said, let's get started. Uh, so obviously guys, this is like the main entrance when you first walk in. The first thing you notice when you look straight out is these huge block, like these have to be like four foot high windows. Let me just stand next to them just to see like how big these windows are. Let me see. I'd say these are like three feet high. Like that's a freaking massive window. They just built this entire wall so you have a gorgeous, gorgeous view of the lake, which that honestly I think is the first thing that we're gonna have to do when we come out here. So we're gonna walk over to the side and just show you guys when you get down to the living room in this area over here. You just take this door, it slides. And this is the view from the outside, just from the main area from the house. As you guys can see, it's completely gorgeous. You guys have a huge lake house in the center over here, a nice little backyard area where people can lay out, tan, fire pit, gazebo, hot tubs, pool table, just about everything that you need. And a boat house that has two boats, a couple of jet skis, a couple of tubes, an upstairs area to chill at. It's, it's honestly probably the best part about the house, but this right here is like that spot where you can just look to overlook everything if you want to make some food in the morning and come out here. We just did that actually this morning. We ate some Eggos out here on the couch and just like looked out at the lake and all the beautiful houses, the water, the sounds, just everything about it is honestly amazing. I've never been to a lake house before, guys. This is my first time ever doing it, so it was awesome, and I'm definitely gonna try to do it again in the future, but we're gonna go back inside now and show you guys the rest of the place. All right, so guys, this is really dope. Check this out. First of all, they have like a full-on bar right here, which is awesome, but if you come over to this side, there's like a living room table where we actually ate dinner with Skylar for his birthday like two nights ago or last night, I think, but they have like a little hidden staircase area over here, so if you come upstairs, You have this really cool observatory area where there's like a little chess table, a little like balcony to look over the whole house, which is probably one of my favorite spots. Honestly, there's a lot of my favorite spots in this house. You guys are gonna see as we keep going, but this is really cool. You can see like the backsplash on the top of this stone, which is awesome, all the cool art. And then you have this other balcony over here where you can look out and just see everything from a higher view. So no one really comes up here, at least like when we were here for this weekend, but it was an awesome spot to be. All right, so now we're back in the living room. We actually watched Kawhi Leonard and the Raptors beat the Warriors on that first game on Thursday. And we thought that the NBA Finals was gonna be happening on Saturday night, but it got pushed back, I think, to Sunday. And I'm gonna be on a flight back home while the Finals is on, and we can't get Chick-fil-A Sky. As we That's a here. bad day. This is the kitchen area. Um, we actually had a really good time here last night. We made some sick of noodle cookies, my girlfriend. Best sick of noodle cookie person in the world. Uh, like a little sitting area where we ate. This is the other side to that area where we can just go out at. I and mean, this was like really the spot where a lot of people were just chilling the whole time because you get a really good view of the water here and you get to see everything in the nature. You're outside, but you have these screens up because at night the bugs get really bad in this area. So this keeps the bugs away from you. So a lot of the times, even during the day and at night, we're chilling out here. I was growing up some chicken literally all weekend long. Like this was me, Chef Sensor. I was just literally sitting just grilling up some chicken all day and it tasted amazing. And then we had this table. and I was actually hanging out over here a lot, just watching TV at night. So it was a really good spot, but we're gonna take you guys downstairs now and show you guys the bedroom area. I right, so you guys are downstairs now, and this is like the first thing I saw, which is really dope. It's like this door. These are where all the guest rooms are, so one of our guest rooms is here on the left. But this door is like open and close, and I kind of have this. This is actually one of my neighbor's houses too, and I always really liked it, but I have no use for it in my house. But if you come down here in this hallway, this is our room. 
that we stayed in. I think my girlfriend's in here right now, so we're just not gonna even touch that. But if you keep going down this hall, you have a really, really cool spot in the house, guys. You have a outdoor little, it's actually a lot right now, outdoor little zen area with like a bunch of little toads and stuff in this little thing. Um, honestly, I probably came out here once, but that's not the really cool thing that's in this hallway. You guys probably didn't notice it. There's a secret room, and I wanted to show it to you guys. I thought this was like one of the coolest things about this house. It's really quirky. There's a lot of art, but there's a secret room right over here. I'm just gonna open it up. Like, check it out. Look at that, and guess what's on the other side of the secret room? We have a home gym, dude. This was the spot I was living in all weekend long, getting the games. We have some 25 pound weights. I think they go up to 60s and there's a couple of 80s as well. We have a bench press, a back row machine, a shoulder machine, um, a lap pull down machine, a lift to goal cardio. So everything you really need. I don't really touch the cardio machines because we're going out to doing stuff and having fun. But this is just awesome to me. I mean, I'm not really a big fan of home gyms. I say it all the time. I'd rather go out and go to a gym. But if you can have a secret door with a bookcase and then on the other side, you can have a gym. I gotta go check it out. All right, so guys, we go back on the hall. There's a bedroom here, my bedroom, another bedroom over here. Uh, again, I don't really want to go inside of them because there's some other people staying here, so I didn't want to, you know, invade this space. But this is like the foyer area, and then you go down over here. This is my favorite room in the house by far, and I'm disappointed because we never spent time here. But the things I love about this spot right here is one, that Coca-Cola found um, freezer and cooler thing. This thing is apparently from the 1930s, so I love it, and I think it's dope. I'm a big fan of Coca-Cola. Um, just drinking all with popcorn and stuff and then pizza. So they got this thing with like all these different drinks and all these different sodas and like water bottles and everything. They got these like George Foreman grill plates, I think is what this is called. Over here, you got a bar, you got a TV to watch the game, you got a little um, car table to play some cars with your friends, a lot of different like red stuff. I, don't, I just really like the vibe of this room a lot. And then this little pinball machine, it's like a little baseball machine. So I, I don't know, I just always thought this room was cool. We always have to pass back through here. Can I, can I ask you a question? Yeah. Did you just call those George Foreman things? Yeah, I think they said that they were like, what were they, like net regular grill plates or something? Like I that? think it's grill for a car. George Foreman grills yeah. uh, steaks and grill burgers. For a car, I don't know. George <laughs> Foreman grill for a car. I, I heard it once and I just didn't want to question it. But if you guys keep following me, we go outside. This is the backyard, which was honestly probably the coolest part about the entire weekend, I guess, right, Sky? Yeah, that's true. This is the spot we're hanging out at the entire time. So a lot of people like to lay out over here. I was laying out here this morning, just chilling, having some fun. I'm a little bit upset we didn't get to have a fire either, Sky, because we found this spot on the water where they have, um, what's it called? Like these giant, giant, massive logs, and all you have to do is like light a match in the center of it, and then it like lights up the entire log. We didn't get to do that, though, unfortunately. If the game was on last night, we probably would have done it. But um, yeah, the backyard is really dope. It's like a lot of stone and a lot of like, not really too much lawn or grass, but there's this little walkway over here, and they have a hot tub, uh, bocce ball, uh, air hockey table, a spiral staircase that doesn't really be, lead to much, but uh, for the most part, we were just really just going in the backyard just so that we could go out to this lake house, which is honestly what the whole house is about. It's a lake house. They had to have a little house on the lake, too. Uh. So if we go down this path over here, this is where it gets really, really sick. Scott, when I was walking down this boardwalk, I thought about like weddings and like how men propose to their wives because this seems like a spot that you would do that. Uh oh. Not that I'm doing, no, I'm not thinking about it or anything. Just, that's honestly what I thought about when I saw it because this view is just so gorgeous, bro. So if you go over here, there's like a little boat house where we have these boats over here. Um, it's like a really old school boat. I'm not really that big in the boats, but there's a really dope old school boat right there. And then we have this other pontoon boat over here, which is the one that we really chilled on. But it's so clean. The water's fresh water. You can swim in it. It smells, obviously you can swim in the water, but the water feels fine. It feels clean. There's a couple little fish in the bottom over here. It's really dope. There's a little jet ski over here. Another jet ski on the side. We went tubing yesterday, which was so much fun. I love tubing, like almost more than anything. It's almost like a good workout. Too. But if we go upstairs now, all the way to the top, these hurt your feet because the sun's burning. This is also super, super dope. This, <laughs> this is the upstairs hangout spot. Like everything about this is just awesome, man. We have a TV in the corner, a fire pit, a long couch, a long table where we're eating our sandwiches and our food and our chicken. These are the coolest spots here though, honestly. I posted this thing on my Instagram if you guys didn't see it. I'm ready. Are you ready? Okay. 
A lot of wind right now. Hold on, hold on. A lot of wind. Huh, yep, where's the wind coming from? It's coming directly behind. Got a little... uh, I think I got it now. All right, all right. All right. Three, two, one. Oh! 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 Yeah. Well, I was running off the edge over here and I was trying to catch a football. They had these two little spots left and right where you can just jump out into the lake. So, I don't know. So, to me, like this view, vibes, like looking back at the house. Like, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. This was impromptu. Jump in the water. Where should we do jump in the water at? Oh, well. X amount of likes. Like, I said we just jump in the, <laughs> jump in the water. Water, Go jump in the water. Right, but that's gonna really conclude the house tour here. No, 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 we're coming back. Oh shit! Ah! Ah! <laughs> Damn, Sky. I wasn't expecting that. At least the water's warm, dude. And I felt extremely comfortable on that jump. Well, my gym shark made me see that, as you guys know. Summer sale up to 70% off. Link in the bio in the description under the title of the video. I just botched it, we're gonna keep it in, but I'm out of breath. I don't wasn't expecting that. Alrighty guys, that's gonna be it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. My boy Skylo over here. Wish him a happy birthday in the comments down below. If you guys enjoyed this video, any types like it at all, comment down below as well. Please leave a like on the video. I got a flight to cash. I think we're gonna go swimming for a little bit though before our flight. That's it. But uh, yeah, we had an amazing weekend. Appreciate happy birthday it. to Skylar. Appreciate it. Um, awesome time at the lake house. Hope you guys enjoyed the video like I said. And uh, yeah, just can't wait to be back home in Long Island. Hope you have a great day. It's your boy Doug Sensor Martin. And I'm out guys. Peace.